The life that existed at this warehouse, with trucks transporting goods to foreign military bases across Afghanistan, is gone. This local company has been supporting international troops for more than 15 years and was providing an income for more than a thousand Afghan families. Only a handful of employees remain. They will also be jobless in days when the company shuts down completely. The owner does not want to be identified for fear of attacks after working with foreign troops. It's very sad. When I see this, it brings tears to my eyes. I'm not sure what will happen to employees of mine who were getting paychecks, had their own shops in the market, and took rice and beans for their families. If I don't have this operation, I cannot support them. The company owner says once there were more than 22,000 Afghan companies like his, contributing millions to the local economy. Most, he says, have closed or are in the process of shutting down. Business connected to the international military presence has decreased dramatically since 2014, when NATO ended its combat mission in Afghanistan. The departure of the last foreign troops by September will be the final blow to thousands more Afghans who depended on them for a living. The Bush Bazaar in Kabul, named after the U.S. president who started the war, is a shadow of its former self. It once had close to a thousand stalls, most awash with original American goods destined for U.S. troops stationed here. Now it's flooded with cheap imitations and items that barely anyone buys. After 2018, the business became ruined and right now there is no business at all. I'm looking to pack my things because I'm an old man and being a shopkeeper is difficult for me and there is nothing for me to sell. Two years ago, more than half of Afghanistan's population lived on less than $2 a day. That number's risen to nearly three quarters. COVID-19 hasn't helped. Sultan Mahmoud Ajmiri says foreign investment is essential, but unlikely. Now, if you put it into the private investment in Afghanistan, I see the chance very slim. Why would people take their money and come into Afghanistan and invest it there where there is no guarantee what is going to happen tomorrow? which means the Afghan people will be left to fend for themselves. Another challenge for a country already devastated by conflict. Filio Contrafuri, Al Jazeera, Kabul.